Hi everyone, this is Renee from Metal Arc Mystic, and I am doing a requested video to show some combinations of the Guild Tarot with some Oracle decks. So I thought I would do that. So here is the Guild Tarot. It is the new edition um, by US Games. And trying to think if I have a well this is um an index card and this is you know the cards are wider and shorter I guess than an index card. I don't have a regular tarot deck right here uh, so anyway I was just gonna go through this I hope that um, the light is okay so this is the Guild Tarot and um, I just I haven't worked that much with the Guild Tarot I don't know why but um, I decided to just kind of see which decks worked well with it and these two and these are just some combinations that I think work really well. There's kind of a m medieval sort of fantastical vibe to the um I don't know if this will fit to the gill and um oh I should have said what this one is. <laughs> this oracle is Forces Flora and Fauna Oracle. Um by Hardy. Um, hmm. Yeah, by Hardy. And she did the Hardy Tarot. Uh, da, da, da. Colleen. Colleen Hardy. And I always thought that Colleen Hardy did the... Um, oh, no, she did. I don't know. Anyway, I'm confused. So Colleen Hardy. She's the one that did this. So let's just... This is totally random. <laughs> you know, you have the sun and rain. So, um, I just thought, oh, that's interesting, that these two would look really great together. And I think they really do. There's something um, about the two that kind of, I don't know. Um, Dawn Michelle from Boho Tarot was mentioning that she feels that tarot decks and oracle decks can have a conversation with each other. And I totally, I totally agree with that. I totally um get that vibe too and sometimes they can really enhance your readings so that is the um what did I just say the forces flora and fauna deck and then I'm gonna get another one this is gonna be a really quick video the other one that I thought would pair really nicely is the wicked deck by Sally Morningstar illustrated by Danuta Mayer and um this is just the littler version I think there's a larger one that has uh, a larger book so there's also kind of a nice interplay between this deck and the gill I'm gonna have to move this over just a teeny bit um, again the illustrations I don't know it's just that conversation I think that I'm always looking for with my decks and um, I feel like these two decks definitely have that um, and also the, the way that the art is rendered it's kind of dark and and somewhat realistic but not hyper realistic there's definitely um, kind of a magical fantastical quality to it which I think really um, speaks to how these two decks read, read together so that is the Wicked deck and the gill. And then the next one I thought would look really um, nice together is the Gill Tarot and this one, Madame and Dora's Fortune Cards. This is a fun deck, especially if you're looking for really straight, straightforward um, answers to questions. I think I have this deck kind of mixed up a little bit okay so these two decks um you know the black border and the white border it's a little maybe not as I don't know it still works the, the other ones didn't all have black borders or anything like the emperor the mystic circle your abilities will be enhanced there's kind of um echoing of his shield and this kind of shield um 
use your skills to aid others, and then you have desolation. I don't actually mind the um, keywords on the gill as much as I thought I would because I tend to read more numerologically. And, um, you know, regret for the Five of Cups is pretty, you know, straight up red or weight. But I can still work with that because the fives represent change for me. And so, you know, you could be regretting something, but it doesn't necessarily mean <clears throat> regret. It can just mean like reviewing what, what's happened emotionally in the past. And then, you know, the dagger conflict and danger lie in wait. So this is a very strong cautionary card. Um, the shield, you are safe from harm. Key. Anyway, I thought these two also had a nice um, conversation with each other. Sorry for the <laughs> lawnmower that just started, but that is some of the, um, the problem with living in the city. You have people going about their business, and sometimes it's not exactly the business that you had hoped. So this... <clears throat> This is The Nature Nurture by Marcella Kroll, um, and I think these two also have a nice uh, conversation with each other. The art style, even though this is very small, um, it's a very powerful deck. Oops. Uh, this one. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> That one just got caught with the other one. Anyway, so it's a very powerful deck, and it does echo... Um, Kind of the same, uh, not same style, but I don't know. There was something about the conversation. Wow, this is really cool too. <laughs> that I really liked. And then the last one, um, I believe it's the last one I wanted to quickly look at is this uh, mandala, mandala oracle by Hita Caponi. Um, and this is a deck I saw on Lisa's channel, the Tarot Alchemist, and I really loved the conversation that it was having with the shadowscapes. Um, but I also find that, let's move that one over, <laughs> that this deck um, can speak with a lot of other decks. Um, although I will say this deck speaks with no keywords. So you'll need to um, glean your own meanings um, from, you know, from the images. You can read the little book, where is that little book? But I will say that it's, um, let's see, oh, well, okay. So the back has um, quotes, and I'll just read this one. Not out of right practice comes right thinking, but out of right thinking comes right practice. It matters enormously what you think. If you think falsely, you will act mistakenly. If you think basely, your conduct will suit your thinking. And that is from Annie Bassant. Um, you know, and this is a card for creativity. So those two go together, but sometimes the, the quotes on the back don't really resonate. And so I don't always use them. This is a beautiful kind of rose energy. Um, you know, for death, and then this one is, spirituality is a kind of virgin wisdom a knowing that comes prior to experience. Marilyn Ferguson. And a lot of these quotes, I don't, I'm not familiar with the, um, the author, so. Ooh, that's really cool. The Medusa. Forgiveness is the key to action and freedom. Hannah Arndt. I do know who that is, but. Um, anyway, so that was just a real quick, um, it was a requested video, and then one I wanted to show as well that I've really been loving, and I have been using it for a lot of readings. And it's a combo, too. Let me move this out of the way. I have a real mess here now. Is the um, Terra de Marseille, Khodorovsky, and Kamoin. Kamoin. So I've been loving this deck. combined with this, with the Minoan Tarot, which seems a little strange, but it's been such a beautiful combo that I just wanted to quickly, um, oops, I've got this all backwards, don't I? I just wanted to, oh, anyway. Uh, anyway, okay, I just wanted to share these two together. 
So again, this is in no order, but the color palettes go so well together that I just had to share. Um, I've really been loving their messages and the, um, the combination is just, of, I've been loving it. It's such a visual feast for me, I don't know. Lisa from Our, um, Tarot Alchemist just mentioned that she's kind of come back to the tarot with a renewed love of color and, um, and just the art of tarot. And this combination is just really um, exciting my artistic mind, I think with the way the two decks talk to each other visually. Um, I'm just absolutely loving it and um, I don't want to move on to other decks yet. So I wanted to share that with you all just in case anyone else was interested in, um, you know, seeing some combos um, of the Minoan and the Hodorowsky. I also wanted to, I think another reason why I've been having so much kind of visual stimulation is I've been, um, I've been coloring my, I don't even know if this will fit. I've been coloring the uh, redrawing of the Shining Tribe. And so here's the Ace of Trees. And this is the Two of Trees. And on the back, I don't think I mentioned this, but it says, blessed is the mother who has given us shape. And I haven't penned those in yet. Um, this one is the three with those kind of ancient uh, tree spirits. This is the four of trees, which I really, I'm really digging it. Oh, you can't even see that. I'm really digging it's kind of um, Greek myth <laughs> vibe. Uh, this one is very sparse. It's the five of trees and I complete, this card is really different from hers. It's like a cradle in the very tree top. This one turned out really um, fun. I, I enjoyed the owl spirits in the trees. This is the six of trees. And then I'm working on, this is the seven of trees, which um, Pollock had a, like a spinal column and then trees on the outside. And I changed it into um, more just overt chakras just because of the, their association with the spinal column. So that's what I've been doing. And um, I think that's why this artistic combo has really been um, something I've been enjoying. So that's all for me today. I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.